little introduction. Good morning. Um, my name is Danielle. A little bit about me. I'm a registered herbalist with the American Herbalist Guild, a certified holistic nutritionist. I am the instructor of mycology at the Colorado School of Clinical Herbalism. And of course, at Four Sigmatic, I am our national educator. And so what that means is that I get to devote my life to inspiring and exciting all of you about the everyday magic of functional mushrooms. And just a little bit about how I came to where I am. And people often ask me, why and how did you end up devoting your life to functional fungi? And before Four Sigmatic, I had a private clinical practice um, as an herbalist in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, I think it's the nature of being an herbalist. A lot of the people that ended up coming to me said, I have tried every practitioner under the sun and you're my last resort. And what that brought was a lot of autoimmunity, a lot of chronic illness, a lot of undiagnosed ailments that the Western world said, we don't have a name for, we don't know what to do. And there were actually very few plant medicines that I could turn to in some of these extreme bodies. And so I ended up focusing on functional mushrooms. Functional mushrooms were one of the safest, most effective options for these really wide ranging bodies with all different ailments. And so before I knew it, I had a functional mushroom based practice and I actually found Four Sigmatic in looking for an easier way to get some of these incredible allies, these mushroom products into my clients' bodies. And believe it or not, uh, these functional mushrooms, they're nothing new. And so we're gonna just dive right in now. And humans have actually been using these functional mushrooms, some of them for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And I love saying that. At Four Sigmatic, we're not doing anything new. And people always laugh at me and say, well, of course you are. You're making mushroom coffee a thing. But we're not. We're not doing anything new. We're actually using these really ancient medicines that have been used in different folk for folk remedies and traditional medicines in places like Siberia and Russia and traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years and kind of giving them a makeover, right? Putting them in a format that makes sense for the busy modern world. And one thing about that is these functional mushrooms, they're very different than many other, um, <laughs> sorry about that. They're very different than many other natural medicines in that they're called tonics. And so what we mean by tonics is they're meant to take every single day. They're meant to be taken long term as they build and they nourish the system from a really root based place. So they're not band-aids, they're not short term fixes. And this is kind of where the immune conversation comes into light. Typically people are not very excited to talk to me about ways that they can support their immune system, right? Because you don't see this short term effect from it. And yet now in the state of the world, people are like, what can I do to support my immune system from a really root-based place? And what I mean by that is not something you can take just today or tomorrow or next week, but something that's safe and healthy and effective to take for several weeks, several months, even several years. And that's what our functional mushrooms do. And so thinking about, okay, I need to take something every day, what we realized at Four Sigmatic is it's really tough to get people to start new habits, any new habit, let alone something like drinking a chaga mushroom that maybe someone has never heard of every day. And so what we've done is we've thought, okay, what do people do already? How can we add these functional mushrooms into existing routines, into habits that are, that are already common for all of us? And so hence, that's where mushroom coffee comes into play or mushroom protein and some of these things that I'll be talking about later on, right? I used to tell my clients all the time, the medicine doesn't work if you don't take it. So no matter how many things you learn today and are so excited about this root-based vital way of mushroom supporting our immune system, if it doesn't taste good, if it's not easy, if you don't remember to do it, we're not going to see the effects. And so that's where things like mushroom coffee really come into play. All right, um, so functional mushrooms. What do we actually mean when we say functional mushrooms? So fungi, right, are an entire kingdom. And within that kingdom, we're speaking of a couple hundred mushrooms that are labeled functional. And essentially what that means is they have known studied benefits to the human body. 
And so all the mushrooms that we use in Four Sigmatic products are considered functional, right? They have this function that is proven and that is known that's been um, studied and practiced in traditions all over the world. And all Four Sigmatic products have functional mushrooms in them. And what, what we call functional mushrooms, so if you're ever walking into a grocery store and you ask where are the mushrooms, they'll usually point you towards the section that's called immune. And so what all of these functional mushrooms have in common is they're called immune modulators. And this is really interesting and what sets them apart and what made me focus on them with my clients that had autoimmune conditions and chronic illness is this modulating, balancing, regulating effect towards our immune systems. And so I love using metaphors and we're gonna jump right into them. The metaphor for immune modulators is think of this like cruise control. Okay, so cruise control, we all have a certain level of vitality that we function at optimally. So let's say for me, that's 65 miles per hour. That's my set optimal level that my immune system is functioning, that I'm strong, that I'm vital, that I'm healthy. In compromised times, so perhaps change of season or a sickness going around, my immune system might drop from that 65 miles per hour to let's say 50. And when I take a functional mushroom, when I take an immune modulator, it will literally kick into gear my natural immune defenses, my immune responses. So it'll bring my immune system back up to that optimal level, to that 65 miles per hour. Same thing if there's overactive immunity. So cruise control, you start going a little too fast. Maybe you're starting to hit 70, 75 miles per hour. This is the case in autoimmune conditions, right? Overactive immune response. These functional mushrooms, immunomodulators, tamper down that immune response to keep us into this, in this balanced state, in this regulated 65 mile per hour cruise control setting. And so this is what we mean by immune modulators. And this is so important because even many of the other natural options that I see many people turning to right now um, are known as immune stimulators. And so this is where a lot of our plant allies fall, things like echinacea or golden seal, elderberry. And I'm going to use echinacea as an example because it's such a popular immune supporting herb. Echinacea is immune stimulator. And so what that means is maybe all of you have been taking echinacea tincture lately. If you have, you'll notice, um, I'm just going to start this. Uh, you'll notice that there's basically this like tingly effect that happens uh, on your tongue when you take echinacea. Those are called alchemides. What happens when those hit your tongue is it basically tricks your body to thinking that there's a foreign antigen in your system. And so in response, your body boosts production of white blood cells to temporarily fight off what it thinks is that infection. And so this is really effective in a short-term setting. So for a couple days, maximum a week. But we don't wanna trick our bodies for longer than that. So when we're using immune stimulators, you wanna use them at the first signs of maybe sniffles or a tickle in your throat, and only for a couple days to a week. So those are a lot of our plant allies. Functional mushrooms, on the other hand, are not only safe to take long-term, that's the way they've always been used. So for thousands of years in different traditions and these ancient herbal texts, materia medicas, we see them called tonics. They have these incredible revered names like elixirs of life, longevity tonics, and we see them working most effectively long term every day. So in times like now, it's so important to be using immune modulators if you plan to take something to support your system for more than a couple days or a week. Um, all right, so functional mushrooms, right? The thing that they have, they all have in common, as I mentioned, is this umbrella category of immunomodulators. And I think of this like you and I, so we have similarities. We're both interested in health and wellness. We have, you know, this peaked, um, we're, we're sitting here and talking about mushrooms on our Friday morning, and yet we each offer something slightly unique into the world. 
but we share this same thing. We're both interested, but we have these own unique qualities. Same thing with our mushrooms. So they're all immune modulators. They all fall under that umbrella category, and yet they each offer something additional unique into the world. So for example, our reishi supporting stress and, and deep sleep, or our lion's mane supporting um, you know, cognition and thinking and creativity, cordyceps supporting that endurance and physical energy. But even with those categories, they're all supportive to the immune system, right? So they're all these immunomodulators. And I wanna highlight a few. And I'm so excited because typically we see different mushrooms having their spotlight moment. And they're usually mushrooms that have more of a short-term goal. Like, okay, lion's mane, I really want to turn on my brain this morning. But what the mushroom that we're seeing take the, hot, the spotlight right now is chaga. Okay, so if you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, I posted a big picture of chaga. And so many times when I show people chaga, they're like, that's a mushroom? What do you mean? It's this big conky, it almost looks like a rock. And it's this big conch that grows on the side of birch trees primarily. And most of our functional mushrooms, they actually, they grow on trees. And so that's kind of a basic difference between a lot of the culinary varieties, poisonous varieties, psychedelic varieties. Most of those grow on the ground versus our functional mushrooms we find typically growing on trees. And so chaga we find almost always on birch trees. And I'm making a point of this because it's really important to understand where you're getting your functional mushrooms. And log grown or wild harvested is what I wanna hone in for all of you today. So you can think of this like, you've all heard probably, we are what we eat. Same thing, the mushrooms are what they eat. And so, so many of the immunomodulating properties, these beneficial nutrients in the mushrooms, actually come from the woods or the logs that they're found on. And so at Four Sigmatic, I'm gonna show you our chaga elixir. We wild harvest, which means we get our chaga out in the forest. So we wild harvest our chaga from the largest birch forest in the world. It's called the Taiga Forest, and it's located in Siberia. And um, yeah, beyond this immune supporting properties of chaga, Chaga is also incredibly rich in antioxidant properties. And so we call chaga your daily bodyguard, right? So on the box, it says really big, defend with chaga. And the idea is when our immune systems are really strong, when our bodies are full of antioxidant properties, even if we walk out into the world and there's a bunch of sick people around, your body is not gonna be a host for whatever else is out there. Right, so that's the way that I want you all to be thinking about supporting your immune system right now, is how can we build ourselves up to become so strong internally that we can either not be a host for whatever's out there or really quickly fight off whatever it is that, that we might catch. So think of it like your own daily bodyguard, and that's our chaga. Um, if you haven't tried chaga elixir yet, there, so there's 1,500 milligrams of extracted Siberian organic chaga mushroom in every packet. And there's also rose hips. So kind of another ingredient that you might not have realized is in here. And rose hips we put in there because it's really rich in vitamin C. And we know vitamin C supports our immune system. It also helps activate a lot of the compounds in the chaga mushroom. So really, really awesome. This is like your go-to product right now. And there's so many ways to use it. I already mentioned this, but the medicine doesn't work if you don't take it. And so a really easy way to take chaga is adding it into maybe your daily coffee. You can put it in your smoothie. Um, if you don't drink coffee or caffeine, chaga is also an awesome coffee alternative for the morning. So. If you aren't aware, our company has its roots in Finland. All of our founders come from Finland. And Finnish people drink, this is a fun fact about chaga, but Finnish people drink more coffee per capita than anywhere else in the world. It's crazy. They drink like five to six cups a day. And around World War II, 
there was issues importing sufficient amounts of coffee into the country. So Finnish people were freaking out, what do we do? And they realized that this chaga mushroom, this big conky fungus growing on the side of birch trees was abundant all over the country. And so they started brewing chaga tea. It's called a chaga decoction. And it, when you brew it, it has this really jet black color to it. It looks like coffee and it has a kind of similar taste has this really earthy, bitter flavor to it. And so it's an awesome option. You can just dissolve this in hot water and have it as your coffee alternative in the morning. Um, another product that I wanna share with you guys today that is so important for this time is our mushroom blend mix. And this has all 10 of the functional mushrooms that we use across the Four Sigmatic brand. And so again, thinking of that umbrella category, these immunomodulators, all 10 functional mushrooms are in this blend and same amount of dosage as our chaga elixir, there's 1500 milligrams per serving. So what you do, there's a little scooper in here, you use two scoops and get your 1500 milligram dose. Um, this is also if a lot of you like bulk product, I've been hearing that a lot. I don't want single serving packets. What do you offer in bulk? This is a perfect solution. Um, the way to use this is pretty much whatever way you can think of, but it's one of our few products that have kind of this umami mushroom flavor to it. And so my favorite way to use it is instead of veggie broth. So I actually dissolve it in hot water and use it as the base for soups or stews. Um, you can also use it in any savory recipe. So I sprinkle it on veggies, I put it in homemade hummus, pretty much any way you can think of it. Add your, add your mushroom blend mix into whatever it is you're doing or cooking. Um, another option for right now, so chaga, right, our king of mushrooms, our highlight mushroom right now, is actually in all of our Four Sigmatic coffee. And so, right, so it adds all those antioxidant properties to our coffee. And then we also realize that that's one of the easiest ways to make sure that chaga is a sustainable, consistent part of your daily routine. And so our best selling product is our ground mushroom coffee with lion's mane and chaga in there. Such a great way if you are already making coffee, what an easy switch, right? You can do it in a French press, a pour over, a cold brew, your coffee machine, whatever makes sense for you. I encourage keeping up with that consistent habit. Um, and then last but not least, the fourth product, and then I'll open it up to questions um, that I wanna share with you guys are our plant-based protein. You might not have seen this before, but it's a newer product. So 18 grams of plant-based protein in every packet. And then there's also 1500 milligrams of functional mushrooms and adaptogens in every serving. So it's all about thinking about your lifestyle, right? I don't wanna encourage any of you starting something that just doesn't make sense or isn't gonna be easy, but what does your daily life look like? Do you make a smoothie? Awesome, add in some plant-based protein and get your 1500 milligrams that way. Do you already drink coffee? Awesome, get your chaga in through your mushroom coffee. Like what does it look like? And then let's elevate, right? Elevate your routine. Let's, I, what we want to do is create a better for you option every step of the way, incorporating these powerful allies, these immunomodulating functional mushrooms. Okay, I'm going to open it up. I see so many questions right now. Um, let's see, I'm going to try to start from the top. So, okay, yep, I think I answered some of those. What are you doing? Du, du, du. Yeah, so, okay, great question. Vanessa, I think, said, I'm an artist. I'm out of work right now with galleries clo closing. What are you doing to help people like me to afford your mushroom elixirs? So one thing that we do on a consistent basis is we have a membership program. So it's totally free to join as a member. And as a member, you get 20% off all of your products and free shipping. Um, so really easy to join. You can switch up your members. You can switch up what products you have. So it's not like um, you have to order the same thing, but you can get a new product every week, every other week. You can set it up so that it's delivered to your door. 
um, and it's on auto ship. So that's a really easy thing to do. Also, for all of you today, um, I created a discount code. It's called Immune20. So I M M U N E two zero, and that's for twenty percent off. Just as a thank you for all of you coming and being interested in functional mushrooms and root-based ways to support our vitality and our immune systems right now. That is going to be valid for a full week. Um, so you can use it any time between now and the end of the day next Friday, March 27th. Um, and yeah, reach out to us if you have any other specific questions. So let's see. Um, what is... Okay. How many doses of the mushroom powder or coffee does it take to see results? And what is the signs to look for that it's working? So this is a great question, Andrew, and maybe not the answer you want, but every body actually needs a different dose um, to, to feel optimal. And so this is kind of part of the, what I call everyday magic of natural medicine, including functional mushrooms. And it really doesn't have to do with your age or your weight. I've seen um, older, frail women that maybe need 1,500 milligrams, so one packet a day, um, and that's their optimal dose. I've seen big bodybuilder athlete dudes that only need half a packet, and that's what works for them. But somewhere between 500 milligrams, which is what you'll get in our coffee, and 1,500 milligrams, which is what you'll get in our elixirs, or our blend is a really great place to start, especially if you're totally new to taking functional mushrooms. I recommend starting with one dose a day for at least three days, five days a week, and then you can always build up from there. Um, and it's what's so challenging about um, saying, okay, what should I actually look for? It's when things are working optimally, we don't really notice them. And so what I most often see when people start taking functional mushrooms every day is, oh, I haven't gotten sick, you know, or typically they might get a cold every winter. And for the first time, once they've brought reishi or chaga on board, like, whoa, I actually went this whole winter season without catching anything. So that's kind of when we're talking about immune support, it's almost what we don't see as opposed to this sign of like, oh, this is definitely working especially with things like chaga that are really building and repairing our system from this root vital level. Um, okay, Joanna said, I've been told that people with candida or mold illness should not use mushrooms. What is your take on this? Are there any mushrooms good for fungal infections? Um, so this is such a fun question. And a lot of our functional mushrooms um, are actually beneficial um, to take in different fungal infections. And people are like, that's weird a fungi fighting a fungi. But when we think about other kingdoms, so think about we're part of the animal kingdom, animals fight other animals all the time. And we don't think that's weird. Same thing, our functional mushrooms are actually, um, can be quite beneficial to fight kind of these non-ideal, these dangerous types of molds or fungi. So um, yeah, antifungal fungi are what we're talking about with our functional mushrooms. So um, great question, Joanna, thank you. So can you develop resistance to cordyceps over the long term? So yeah, I always recommend if you have been taking a certain product for maybe a couple weeks or a couple months to switch it up, right? So the idea is if you're really looking, let's say um, to support physical energy and you've been taking cordyceps every day for a month, Hopefully you've experienced um, a, a support with that physical energy and you can no longer take it and then switch it up with what you might need at that new phase. So, okay, now maybe I'm feeling a little bit stressed or I'm having difficulty sleeping, so you can bring reishi on board. So there's nothing wrong with taking the same mushroom every day for months or weeks or years, but I do always recommend switching it up because our bodies are constantly changing. Our own needs are constantly changing. And what I want to encourage you all is no matter what I say, your body is your own best teacher. So everything I'm trying to do is to better connect you to the messages of your own body so that you can really hear and understand what's going on and then have the tools, the allies to know what to take to support whatever is happening in here. 
So listening to your own body because every body is unique, every body is different. And so, you know, let's say um, at some, at one point in your life, you might need more or less based on what you're eating, what you're experiencing, you know, in terms of stress levels or sleep. And so it's always, okay, what is my body like? And then experimenting. Okay, I'm going to try a second packet of chaga today and see how that that feels and then either increase or decrease based on the effects of your body. But keep tuning in, keep checking back. Okay. Um, yeah, so Eliza asked if functional mushrooms have properties that can help with gut healing. And this should totally be another webinar and I would love to go into this about functional mushrooms for gut health. But another thing that all of these functional mushrooms have in common are they're called prebiotics. And so most of you might be aware of probiotics, right? Helping these beneficial bacteria in our gut. But prebiotics are actually the food for our probiotics. So again, continuously thinking about mushrooms as this root-based, right? The opposite of a Band-Aid, but a root-based way to support our system. When we take these mushrooms, we're actually giving our body prebiotic fiber, so this food, to feed our probiotics and keep them alive and thriving. So yes, functional mushrooms can be very beneficial for gut health. And Eliza, um, email me or info at Four Sigmatic, support at Four Sigmatic if you want specific um, recommendations for products for what you're going through. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you guys are awesome. There's so many questions. Um, how long does the mushroom coffee that you can make in a French press last if you drink it every day? Um, so I think you're talking about how, how it's, you can think of it like regular coffee. So if you're going to make a French press and then maybe store it in your fridge, I would say store it for no more than three days. Um, but just like regular coffee, right? It is real coffee. That's something I get asked a lot. Our bag of coffee, it's a hundred percent organic fair trade Arabica coffee. So it is real coffee and these functional mushroom extracts are added to it. So that's why it tastes like coffee. It doesn't taste like mushrooms. It is real coffee. Okay, let's see. Um, is it okay to take mushrooms? And I know we're out of time. I'm gonna answer this one more. Um, David asked, is lion's mane also functional mushroom? Yes, lion's mane is absolutely a functional mushroom. And Katie asked, is it okay to take mushrooms with other herbal medicines? Does anything cancel each other out or not mix well? Um, so, Again, yeah, there's going to be a different synergy that happens based on what you're taking your functional mushrooms with. That's why we put rose hips, right, in our blend and in our um, elixirs because vitamin C increases the bioavailability of these mushroom extracts to our own bodies. So there are going to be different nutrients that increase the effects of the mushrooms or others that might slightly decrease the effects. So for optimal results, I mean, first and foremost, the medicine doesn't work if you don't take it. So take it when it works for you. Um, but if you, if you are wanting to experiment, like how can I get the most out of this? I recommend taking either first thing in the morning, kind of on an empty stomach or last thing um, before you go to bed. Okay, thank you all so, so much. I know we're a minute past our time. Um, I am so grateful for you all being here. We, myself and all of us at Four Sigmatic are always here to support in any way that you can, any way that we can. Um, any other questions that I didn't get to, please feel free to shoot over to support at Four Sigmatic and I'll try to get to all of them. Again, remember um, I made this special code for you all. You can use Immune20. Um, I wanna help you guys get a deal on these really important products to take right now. And um, yeah, thank you so much again. I will talk to you all soon. Have a beautiful Fungi Friday.